So guys, something different I'd like to show you today. I probably got my hands on one of the first hover cameras X1 in the UK. And the way how this works, as you can see this here, you unfold it. It's actually a very stable build. You select the flight mode. 60 seconds. Hover. And it tells you what it does. And then you just start it up and it should go up into the air and start hovering all by itself. It knows my face now, the built-in AI can recognize this. Hopefully the sound recording is also working and the camera has got a built-in functionality AI that overlays the sound but removes the hover sound of the propellers. You can probably see in the footage from my head camera that it is quite windy today so the camera itself is pretty stable just hanging in the air here and as soon as i go back to it uh, it actually will land so let's do this it recognizes the hand and it's landing so now let's change the flight mode to follow and bring it up again. Hopefully it goes up. There it is. And now it is locked on me. It should start following me around. And it does exactly that. And when I go forward, it does the same thing. It should move away from me. It's going up not moving away yet. Uh, I'm sure it's going to learn this. So the AI needs to be trained first. There need to be a few flight experiments done with the camera. And once it's got used to that, it does this all by itself. So I don't have to do really much. As, as soon as I press the button, it starts filming. Um, and I guess if I walk past it, it should turn, it's still following me. And you can see the footage of the camera behind. So all I need to do is focus on it, train the artificial intelligence, and it does what it's supposed to be doing. Very, very stable, very, very lightweight, 125 grams, not much to be done. It doesn't need any app. Uh, it doesn't need any application, although it does come with one. And you can set the session parameters in that. Um, everything is based on the built-in AI, and so far what I've seen is it's actually functioning very, very well. So really happy with that. Um, let me do some footage with the phone as well. It's landed. We can also go to another mode which is the zoom out mode and let's see what we can select here 20 feet 30 feet I think 30 feet is the first as this goes let's try this um, switch it on start it goes up by itself it should start zooming out and I guess going up as well Yep, and it does that once it's reached the 30 foot height and distance, not height necessarily, distance, I guess. But it's only about five meters high at the moment. Once it's done that, it comes back and you can see the footage. It records all by itself, then starts hovering again and tells me it's finished and now I can land it. And let's do this in a different location. Try it again. Let's start it up. all by itself and again it just goes out there's no gesture control going on here it's all done by artificial intelligence it goes to a height of i'd say five meters six meters and then it actually comes back amazing feat of technology 125 grams or less it's a bit wobbly in the wind uh, when it does its landing and we can do the same with the orbit as well. Eight feet orbit. Thirteen feet orbit. 
20 feet. Okay, let's try this. 20 feet orbit. 20 feet orbit. We start at getting up into the air. Make sure there is no other obstructions in the way. And then let's see what it does. So it's taking the distance around me and starts orbiting. Might get a little bit close to the grass here, we'll see. But it also got a sensor underneath that should tell us how close and far away it is actually from the ground. So it looks like it can manage that, manages its height as well whilst doing that. So it's finishing the hover. Again, I haven't got to do anything other than that. It's, it's a recording. Uh, the red light is flashing. Actually, it's not. It's just red light, and it's telling me it's completed it. And it looks like it's coming back to me. Brilliant. There is some other functionality as well. So there's some custom features that can be controlled via an app that is available. Oh, and the bird's eye view as well. Let's try this. Okay, 30 feet, probably high enough. Let's go. 30 feet, bird eye. Okay, it's actually quite windy. So it seems to be stabilizing itself a bit. Camera's moving down. And up it goes. Up to 30 feet, so that's about... 10 meters, I guess, and once it's done that, then it comes back down all completely AI controlled, without any app, without any remote control, everything is done by the built-in app in this Hover X1 camera. Amazing. Well guys, uh, I haven't got much time because I'm off to another meeting, but I thought I'd just give you a brief idea of what this Hover X1 camera looks like. Amazing features, very, very, very lightweight and uh, brilliant cap capabilities doing what it's doing. Certainly the follow mode I will enjoy. I guess the orbit mode, you've got to be a little bit careful that there isn't any objects around, but you can see already the cage is actually, it's rigid, but 